Cisco Endpoint Amp, Orbital, Solar Winds, right? Supply chain attack. So we're gonna use Orion to find a DLL, right? And so if you go to Talos, great article about the supply chain attack, um, and it talks about this DLL, and certain variants of that DLL are malicious and indicates compromise, uh, and then others are not, right? And so here's a bunch of hashes you can look for as well. We're gonna focus on the actual file name. So you can see the locations here. One is in program files, the other is in um, uh, Win Directory System 32, and there's some variants in regards to the structure or the data path. Uh, and again, this is DHS. So I've shown you Microsoft, Talos, and, and DHS all talk about this DLL. And so uh, one thing we can do is I've, I've leveraged an existing query, modified that query um, to look for that DLL in specific paths. So here's the first one. This one's gonna look for the DLL in anything under C, uh, including program uh, files, right? And the other one's gonna look at uh, any folder, again, more specifically around the Windows directory, um, and um, and it's gonna look for that DLL. And so I, I go ahead and run the query. Um, the top one doesn't hit, but the second one does, right? And and all I've done here is, is created a, a text file and called it a DLL. And you can see the hash here actually shows up as unknown. What's really cool about the integration with Endpoint AMP is that the hash will flag as malicious if it's known as malicious. So in this case, I, I this could be a good DLL, right? Um, because I just created it, right? It's clean. So what I've done is I've jumped a threat grid, I've looked for that DLL, and I, fee I find a bunch of examples, and here's one that shows this is bad, right? And it goes back and talks about uh, sunburst, some of the code names in regards to this uh, solar winds uh, supply chain attack. And so I've downloaded this, right? Because I wanna put the, uh, a real DLL into a folder to see if Orbital's gonna be able to detect it and tell me anything about it. And so I, I'm gonna go ahead in here. This is downloaded and it's brought over um, into this uh, victim machine, right? And it's password protected. It's infected whenever you download from ThreatGrid. And nothing, right? No file. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, I know what's going on. I have endpoint amp on here and it's a known hash. It's gonna block it, okay? So what I'll do here is, again, sunburst, right? The, the code name for uh, this particular um, uh, threat. So what I'll do here is I'll shut down um, endpoint amp so I can copy this over, but I'll leave orbital running. Um, and hopefully I can search uh, my endpoint and I get a hit. So let's paste this in. Again, passwords infected. Again, this is to save yourself uh, from yourself, right? Um, so there's the DLL. We'll go ahead and run this live query again. And obviously we get that first hit, right? In that other directory, we have this benign uh, DLL. And let's look at the other one. And look at this, right? Here it is in that path, so it found it and it shows it as malicious already. So this would be something that you can search your entire organization, um, any endpoint that you want to search. It would come back if the DLL comes back as red. Obviously, um, you've been uh, you have a compromised um, DLL in the environment. If it comes back as uh, clean or unknown, um, obviously a, a better feeling about what's going on in the environment. Anyways. 2020 has been an interesting year for everyone. This supply chain attack is certainly ugly, and I bet 2021 there's going to be more of the same.